Half a subcontinent away in Kerala, at the temple of Saraswati, the goddess of learning, I met this young woman intently watching her son go through Vidya Arambam, the rite of initiation into learning. In her own way, she has also initiated many people to learn. But to tell her story, I must tell you more about Kerala. Kerala emerged from the sea when the divine sage threw his mace into the ocean in order to expand the Indian landmass. No wonder they call it God's own country. Life expectancy in Kerala is the highest in India. Infant mortality rates are the lowest in the country. And the rate of population growth is amongst the lowest in developing countries. I read somewhere that the key to this achievement is literacy. Learning is more than a skill or a tool in Kerala. It's an article of faith. And nowhere is this better illustrated than in the town of Kottayam, the first in India to achieve complete literacy. Kottayam was always a logical candidate for this distinction. The town is host to Kerala's first newspaper, the state's first printing press, and the country's most widely read newspaper. In 1989, the administration resolved to attain complete literacy by June of that year. A drive was launched to identify illiterates. Volunteers, who were mobilized to teach reading and writing, often met with resistance. But gradually they succeeded in breaking it down and Kottayam looked set to achieve its target. But with only three days left for the deadline, one man, stood between Kottayam and complete literacy. And his name was Kuttapan Arangathumali. The literacy drive meant nothing to him. He was quite willing to let... <laughs> nothing the volunteers told him would persuade him to break a vow he had made to himself 40 years earlier. As a bright-eyed seven-year-old, Kuttapan had started going to school like everyone else. A week later, he went into the classroom as usual, and that day, he got into a quarrel with a classmate, an upper-caste boy. The teacher whipped Kuttapan, but let off the other offender. Throwing his slate away in disgust, Kuttapan fled. That day, he resolved never to return to school. Remaining illiterate would be his permanent protest against injustice and discrimination. Forty years later, he saw no reason to change that resolve. Kuttapan's obstinacy was matched only by the determination of one 16-year-old volunteer. Each one, teach one, was the cry of the literacy campaign. But the tireless Induleka had gone well beyond that modest target. On returning from school each day, she would sit down with people twice her age, sharing her skills with them. Ah. Hours before the deadline ended, ah. Kuttapan's resistance collapsed. Reluctantly, he consented to be taught how to read and write. Kuttapan became the most important statistic in the municipal history of Kottayam and went on to light the lamp on June the 25th, 1989, when Kottayam proclaimed itself to the world as totally literate. Today, Kuttapan lives in his native village in Padua, where he earns a living as a professional tree climber plucking coconuts. (laughs) 
Kuttapan seems now to cherish the gift of literacy, if you judge him by the fact that he so eagerly shares it with his grandson, even though it seems a little too early. At the Saraswati temple, the initiation ceremony is coming to an end. Hindu Lekha went on to teach more people to read and write than any other volunteer in the literacy campaign. But she takes special pride in her success in the Kuttapan saga. Hindu Lekha is a lot like the women of Banda. Their idealism translates itself into action and results.